Hey Scorpio, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. So this is your love reading for December 2018, Scorpio Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. Um, if this reading resonates for you, that's great. Just take what you can from it. If not, it may just not be for you that month. So try not to um, force it to fit. Okay, so let's get started with your reading. I'm going to pull a card from the Romance Angels Oracle deck to see what your divine love guidance message would be for December. Okay, what do Scorpios need to know? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Flirt, extend your light-hearted energy to others. Okay. So this really just means for <clears throat> December, Scorpio, just try to take it easy. Try to have fun for December. I know we're going into the holidays. You know, flirt with other people. Flirt with you have someone in particular. Just be fun and flirty. Don't stress about anything. Don't think too hard or too deep. Just let things go. Don't worry about anything don't uh, just just re really focus on relaxing taking that lighthearted energy and and just spreading it spreading the cheer <laughs> i mean it's such a simple message but we'll see how it ties in to your reading okay so the past position you have the wheel of fortune okay so wheels to me always represent motion okay and the past I feel like there was something going in your favor, Scorpio, or it was just a favorable time for you. Now I'm going to clarify because that's a wheel, that's a major arcana. Um, a favorable time for luck to be on your side in the past. And I feel like this is something that you may have felt. So of course this reading is premiering. November 22nd it's for December but this energy could be at the time that I'm recording it which is November 12th premiering on November 22nd and if the, you're first listening to this on December 1st then <clears throat> the past would be right now <laughs> does that make any sense as I'm recording it okay it could be any time but you'll you'll feel the energy so the Wheel of Fortune wheels can also be symbolic of travel as well. Um, and I will take notice of this. Okay, so the symbols that are surrounding on each four corner are the fixed signs. So we have Taurus. We have Leo, we have Aquarius, and yourself, Scorpio. Okay, all four corners are fixed, but the wheel in motion is turning. Okay, it's in the upright. So it's, in other words, it, it's in favor is what I mean to say by that. Okay, I'm also seeing reading or writing or... Um, Sometimes this card can be connected to, um, and although this, this may or may not have something to do with love, and I will clarify it, but it can be connected to um, text and money. So reading something um, that brings you money, maybe a, a book, or being connected to writing a book of some sort. We'll see how that ties in as well. It was just a message that was coming out. Let me clarify the Wheel of Fortune. What is this favorable? Since it's a love reading, it, it represents fortune and love in the recent past or the past or present. Okay. So the Six of Cups is here. So this is um, <clears throat> connected to your childhood or connected to reuniting with someone from your past or having someone return to your life okay so anytime from you know the time that I'm recording this reading November 12th and back okay 
um, or you know any from whatever time you're listening to it and back so I feel like there it was put in motion to reconnect with someone from your past um, there was kindness sincerity and offer and I feel like there may have been several attempts either made by you or made by another person but for some reason this one actual attempt actually was in your favor and worked out for you okay either you know as I was saying something got put in motion to reconnect or to to see someone and with these pages here can be messages back and forth you know or reading some type of message about connecting with someone from your past and offering they offering something to you either an apology or a kind gesture or something along those lines um, or again with the wheel something to do with travel okay so again now in the present energy we have the chariot which is also a travel card this is direct focused action um, this is the chariot this is someone who commands the chariot this person gets in their their vehicle whatever it may be and they know exactly where they're going they know exactly what they want there's no disarray um, it's point A to point B and they know exactly how to get there and this can be someone who is traveling away from their hometown also this is a very healing card as well and so when I look at this card I feel like um, there's movement here as well okay so there was connecting with someone from the past that was in your favor and now in the present there's actually movement going forward it's also the I always say the yin and yang as well you see the two the black and the white this is a very balanced card um, and very healing now it's crossed by the death card and the death card you know that's of course I will say because it's your reading this is a Scorpio card it's transformation and it's you know of course it's in the upright so it's slow transformation this the purpose of this chariot card the purpose of this destination or this travel or this um, movement that's happening in your life in December is to bring about transformation and change it's been slow going but it's coming now it's actually happening there's something new that will be discovered on the other side of this death card okay because after all of this perhaps mayhem that you're transferring transitioning out of new beginning comes and there's hope and reverence and there's there's peace it's interesting too because if you look at this card you see those two pillars with the Sun the water flowing down from there you know this is passing into a new place for you and somebody else there's a new beginning here connecting with someone very spiritual as well so some of you are taking some type of some of you could be taking some type of a trip a spiritual retreat or a spiritual trip or it may feel like that for you um, there can be a connection also with cancer okay they could have that anywhere on their chart so try not to if that doesn't resonate you know you may you just may not know what their natal chart is and they could have um, Venus and cancer or you know moon and cancer somewhere along those lines but I, I'm definitely seeing major change happening here in your love life Scorpio and it looks very very beautiful there's movement there was movement here and it was a favorable time for this and 
because of that, there was some type of reconnection with someone in your past. And that's actually bringing about um, continuous progress and transformation and change with this person. Now, I feel like they are feeling lost. But this is more your energy because sitting here is more theirs. So this might be you. Um, this might be why all of this is occurring here. Because there's a feeling of loss. A feeling of sadness. And this sits in the position of what's driving you. And the chariot is a driver. So I feel like there is the purpose for this is because of the feeling of loss or missing someone, you know, or feeling like it's hopeless, but there's still two cups back here, which represents the two of cups, which is representative of that, you know, twin type soulmate energy. It's, it's really there, but sometimes I feel, you know, at least here, maybe Scorpio, you were just so sad that it was hard to even like believe that this could be here. But it is, and it's there for sure. And I feel, you know, I feel this is more so you feeling this way. And what's crowning you is the Seven of Swords. So there's a very strong desire within you, Scorpio, to just take what you feel is rightfully yours now in your thoughts in your mind you know your emotions are driving you to to make this move but your thoughts are this is something you know that you feel whether it's right or wrong for you you're doing it anyway whether you're justified because I oftentimes like the seven of swords is a card about theft and deception and it's really all in how you look at it I mean Robin Hood was a thief <laughs> but he stole from the rich to give to the poor so is that bad you know it's all in your perception and I feel like for you Scorpio your thought process is it doesn't matter because you need to heal this this is just too much pain for you to bear and you need to heal it and you are wanting to just do whatever it takes so that you can have what you feel you deserve and it's not like you're taking the whole kit and caboodle you are still leaving two swords there for whomever and let you're letting everyone else figure out what they need to do in their life. You're going after what you feel you deserve or you feel what is right for you. And you're, you're going to be a little sneaky about it, too, because I don't I don't feel like this is something that you're really going to share with people about what you're doing. Perhaps it's with this particular person. Now, the the near future here is the three of pentacles. So there will be communication about it's kind of like this can be a card about performance this can be a card about um, making something work putting the puzzle pieces together to try to create something so I feel like there will be some type of communication about rebuilding or learning how to how to do something some of you may be connecting with your parents or another couple who will be helping you with with maybe a relationship or seeking advice with some friends or something and how to do something this is the apprentice card so this is the card about someone who's basically just relearning or starting over again I see you here wanting to um, message somebody and make an offer of love you know this is a page so you know it's not a night so it's very innocent and sweet and sometimes this is the selfie card for me <laughs> I mean all of us readers have our different interpretations um, 
But sometimes this is the selfie card, like the fish is the camera <laughs> and, you know, he's taking a selfie and, and, you know, sending it somewhere. So I feel like, you know, in the position of you and your advice, this might be something you want to do, like send a message or send somebody a picture either of yourself or um, you somewhere. It's very strange. Um but there's a lot of emotion behind this, but it's mild. This is a mild card. It's not, it's not forceful. It's not overbearing. It's just very sweet and innocent. It can, al it can also just be, you know, making an offer to someone, sending a message to someone about maybe how you feel. Okay, and that's also in the position, not just of you, but your advice. Now, the energy of this other person, they're like kind of temporarily separated from you. Okay, so I'm going to clarify a couple of these cards here before I move on. Let's take a look at the Five of Cups. Okay. Eight of Pentacles, another work card. This card's about learning. This card's about putting in the work and in the effort. The Seven of Swords. <laughs> That's just exactly what I was saying. Like y y you, Scorpion, know that the only way you're going to have everything you want is if you just take what you know is rightfully yours. And that's the energy that you're in. Like you're going after your wishes. The nine of cups is a cup about, you know, it can be a little egotistical um, about someone who's just kind of a smarty pants. It's like, hmm, it's mine. He's mine. She's mine. Everybody else can have the rest, but I'm just taking what's what I deserve or what I want. Okay. It's a little greedy-ish, but definitely in your head, you know, that's where you are. Okay, because you know what you want you, and, and who you want. So the three of pentacles, this king of wands is here. So some of you are dealing with um, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female, someone older. Okay, 40s, 50s and up. Usually the knights would be in their 30s or 20s. So this is definitely someone in the older age bracket, um, quite popular. This person's pretty much a bold leader, a bit commanding. Um, everybody knows who this person is, and they ha they're very well respected in their community or um, in the things that they're attached to. Um, and not they're not overly proud or anything like that. You know, I just feel they're they focus on growth. They, that's their main focus in life is growth, creativity. Okay, so there is some type of learning from them, they learning from you, uh, you both learning from each other. Uh, this, this Eight of Pentacles, you know, again, it's like feeling sad, feeling a loss, abandonment, um, and it, what's driving you is that desire to actually put some effort in to try to make something real out of this connection now why is this person why is your person with this eight of cups there's a bit of unsurety with them and they and this is a temporary separation card this isn't like someone's walking away fully this is just someone who's taking it this is the timeout card for me okay so this person is taking this time out why Okay, trying to decide if it's worth the risk with you. Okay, they're trying to figure that out, which is just so stupid because risk doesn't have anything to do with thinking things over. <laughs> risk is just doing it. So um, I feel like they, th this person too may, may not necessarily be walking away from you, but they could be walking away from other love offers that they've had in the past and they're going to take a risk with you and they don't have any baggage coming with them 
the fool, he just carries that tiny little sack. There's like <laughs> literally nothing in there. So he just basically is like, nope, I'm just going to go. And I don't care what happens. And I feel that's more so what's going on with them. Okay, so what you're hoping for is you have the Ace of Cups. So you're hoping for this, you know, brand new start. This is all about so much love, key emotional developments. This is potential for a new beginning. And this is definitely where you are in the hopes. You fear that you won't have it, but you're definitely hoping for it. And that's your focus. The outcome here. You have the Hermit and the Fool, which are such contradictory cards. Um, so whoever you're dealing with, I feel like they're going to take a minute to think about it. You have the Fool again, and then, you know, you and you and, and this person, I feel like for a long time have contemplated, um, or at some point have contemplated uh, being together either again or uh, contemplating getting back together or con because of the six of cups here. Um, but I feel like there's going to be a risk taken here that both of you will take. Okay. And um, we also are looking at, <clears throat> this is a Virgo card, the hermit and the fool is Aquarius. So, there's a few key players here for those of you that it resonates. However, if the story resonates and the signs don't, then the story is still for you. Okay, so I do feel I'm going to actually clarify these two cards here. Okay, the Ace of Pentacles on the Hermit, which is beautiful. And the Six of Swords on the Fool. Okay, so an offer gets made and... It gets contemplate, it gets reflected on. Okay, and that pentacle, of course, you could see is very reflective. Um, stability, two aces, so a new beginning. There may be a gift, gifts being given also. And the Six of Swords is always a card about getting out of cha this chaotic situation that both of you have been in for quite some time and actually moving forward to a more peaceful place. And the only way to do that is to actually just take the jump, make the jump, make the risk, take the risk. And this Six of Swords sometimes can be a card about necessary transition, fearful transition but necessary and we also have transition here with the death card and the chariot so there's a lot of movement happening you may be picking up on in december um a lot of change coming as well um some of you could be walking away from an aquarius and making an offer to a virgo um Or you've got a Virgo making an offer to you and an Aquarius leaving the situation. Okay, so for whatever reason, this flirty energy card was showing up here again. It's still just talking about being lighthearted and just really enjoying the moment, being mindful and living in the present and not stressing or worrying about anything in December. That's the overall theme for what's happening here because I feel like there's major change happening here and there's a boldness um, about you and I feel like this other person will be picking up on that and sensing that and is probably going to be moving away from because I don't really feel like these were love offers that you made because I just don't feel that was really 100% your energy. Um, I feel like this person is walking off, you know, it's almost as if like he jumps off the cliff away from all those cups and, you know, he, he lands on the other side and, and moves on away from I feel like this person's just going to give you a chance. That's all that I, that's really what I was picking up here. Okay. Because this is temporary. Um, so I feel like they're going to possibly like be responsive or receptive to what you offer, but 
again, they're still coming across, you know, at least with that hermit energy where they're contemplating. Um, they'll take a chance with you maybe one more time. And um, but as long as you are relaxed and have fun with this person and, you know, offer something real, I feel like they will contemplate it and things will move in your favor because that energy is flowing through your reading. All right, Scorpio. So I hope that you have a very happy holiday and Merry Christmas. And I will see you guys in the new year. All right. Take care. Bye.